To serve your church. To serve your people. That's the most important thing. Our job is to serve. Not to be rock stars. Not to be famous. Not to gain the respect of everybody. Our jobs as ministers is to serve. It's our primary purpose. When God comes to anoint you for ministry, He does it for the benefit of His church. Not for your benefit, but the benefit of your church. It's so important that we never forget that. Every time we show up, it is to serve someone else. That's not what the world thinks. Culture all across the globe thinks about themselves first. But Jesus said that. The world would know who we are based on how we love the world. We need to love how we serve. We need to love what we do. Every time you stand on your platform, or you're behind the sound mixer, or if you're turning the lights on, every single time you step up to do that, remind yourself that you are a minister. You are called to serve. So I want to talk just for a few minutes as we wrap up today. About our priorities in serving in worship ministry. And I want to start from the least important first. And just because it's least important doesn't make it not important. But the lowest priority in our service of worship to God is ourselves. When we serve, we do not serve to build our own thing. And we do not serve to get our way. I remember a conversation with a young worship leader one time. He told me he wanted to be the worship pastor someday. Because he wanted to get to choose the songs. Because there were songs that he really liked. That the church wasn't doing. And I took this opportunity to remind him that it's not about what he likes. When we leave a worship ministry, our personal preference has to be the least important thing. There is some music that I like personally. That are not appropriate for church at Sun City. I might listen to them when I'm worshiping myself. 
But they're not the right song for our church. तो हम लोग मंडली के नीचे तीन रोज़ से एक तो नहीं होता, तो 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 � That the songs that we sing should be relevant to our culture. अनि कतिपय गीतों को इस तो प्रकार का उन्हें जरूरी था जो से हम समुदाय को इतनी एक तो में सजीलो हो जाओ ना बुलाए। And some of the songs that I like personally. अनि व्यक्ति का तो बाकी कतिपय गीतों को इस तरह जो मैं मन पड़ा हूँ जो they are not relevant in our culture. तीन यार सॉन्ग तीन गीत हो रहे हैं मेरे को विशेष गरीब का ना सांस्कृतिक संग तो बाप मंडली में भाई का समुदाय है उसमें तो तीन सारों की तरफ तो चाहिए ना सो कैस वन अब अब किचन लोग उसमें वी डोंट डू दो सॉन्ग अने तीन गीत हो रहा है तो तीन गांव लोग उसमें व्हेन वी चूज व्हाट सॉन्ग्स टू सिंग अने सुन गीत अरे हाँ इतनी गीत और उस खाना के लिए सब इच्छा करते हैं हाँ ये लाइव गीत और उस प्रातः में तब आराम के लिए हम लोग इच्छा करते हैं क्या गीत और उस इच्छा में When we lead our worship teams, जो बात हम लोग आराधना संगति को झूठ लाए हैं हमें अवगत करते हैं We are not the main priority. हाँ ये मुख्य प्रातः में तब आराम के लिए So the lowest priority when it comes to worship ministry is ourselves. अरे प्रिय the next important priority is one another. Let's read the Bible. Let's go to Philippians chapter 3 verse I'm sorry, chapter 2 verse 34 That can be right. Three or two. Let's go to the next one. Romans chapter 12. Romans chapter 12. Verse 9. 12, right? Yeah. Bara ko mo mo kaya. Isa rin. So, pray this couple of us. Jun kura kharap sa tesa kaya nagara. Jun kura asho sa tesa mat lagi ho. Let's read verse 10. Ane dos pa ni. Bhakti pray sa kaya kaya kaya. Pray ko lo. Aapu bata pa ni. In worship ministry, we need to make sure that we prioritize one another. We want to make sure that we take delight in honoring one another. In our church, we have a high value for fun on our worship team. Fun. We tell jokes. We laugh a lot. We we spend time together. We pray together. We make sure that we care for one another. And we take delight in honoring one another. Uh, I love that the next part of the verse says, Never be lazy. But work hard and serve the Lord. अन्य आपको एक हर बात में जो दोस्त में पच्चीस हटा और भी तरह में अपना जल्दी तो प्रभु को सेवा कर देगा। So there's a balance of loving one another. अन्य क्या एक हर कलाई प्रेम को अन्य पूरा का संतुलन साथ। Honoring one another. एक हर कलाई मतलब प्राथमिकता में दिन आप वाप आदर को अन्य पूरा का। Enjoying one another. एक हर काम आपको आये को अन्य पूरा का। and working hard to serve the Lord. अनि परम प्रभु पर मिश्रु लाई एक तो भी कड़ा परिश्रम का साथ सेवा करने पूरा हाँ संतुलन हो पर सम। Sometimes ministry is hard. कल करे सेवा का एक सुख सेवा का एक कठिन बन जाता है। Has anyone felt that in ministry before that it's been hard? ना तो पाई नहीं सेवा का एक कठिन बन तो महसूस कर रहा है सच्ची बन्ना। You can be honest, we're in church. एक तो भी हम ईमानदार से तो बस तो हो नहीं रहा। Sometimes ministry is hard. ये तो हाथ मारे के चाहिए ना। But it's worth it. <laughs> but when we have, 
But when we have genuine love for one another, it makes those challenging times so much easier. When my heart is to see my friends win, we all win. There's many times where I could just take the lead. I could sing all the songs. I could play all the guitar lines. I could work the hardest. I could do the most. But what brings me the most joy? The most joy. Is when I see my friends serve the Lord and work enthusiastically My friend Autumn is a very great singer. And over the years that I've known her, she's grown up a lot. There's been many times where I've told her, you must sing louder. And then when she sings louder, I rejoice. And that is a win for me. I'm so grateful that she is growing more in her ministry to the Lord. She's becoming more confident. She's leading with joy and happiness. That makes me very, very happy. In fact, before we go any further today, I want her to share a little bit about her journey in worship ministry. We welcome her up here right now. First, I want to thank you for sitting through this conference. And for giving your time to be here. I'm going to take a minute and tell you a little bit about what worship means to me. People always say that I smile so much when I worship. They say that it looks like I have so much joy when I am singing. That is because I do love to worship. There is a song that we sing at Sun City that says the joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. And that is very true for my life. I am made strong in His joy when I worship Him. It is one of my favorite things to do. But it was not always like that. When I was young, I used to sing worship, but I did not know what it meant to worship. I was very worried about what other people thought. I was too focused on myself and not on God. And then I went to a concert like the one we had last night. And that is where Jesus saved me and I learned the importance of worshiping Him. And I learned that it is not just about saying the right words. Worship is about giving God the praise He deserves. And when I worship, I feel like I am at home. Let's read Psalm 73, verse 28. 
तेईस को जीरो दौर को अट्ठाइस है तर मेरे लगी परमेश्वर को नजीक रहने असल मैं परम प्रभु परमेश्वर मेरे शरण स्थान बनाए मैं सब कार्य वर्णन करने मेरे परमेश्वर को नजीक होसल जब म आराधना कर एकदम शांति आराधना कर रीति ने बने स्टेज में गए आराधना अगुवाई कर भाग अगड़ी मेरे कोठा में परम प्रभु को आराधना कर This is because I know that if my heart is not right before God, I will draw attention to myself instead of Him. अनि यो जो यदि मेरो हृदय परम प्रभु प्रति ठीक छैन भने धेरै पटक म मेरो आफ्नै केन्द्रि भएर आराधना गर्छु. And worship should never be about me. अनि को आराधना कहिले पनि म कस्तो छु म कसरी गाउँ छु भन्ने कुरामा आधारित केन्द्रित हुँदैन. My worship changed so much when I made it about God and not about what other people think. अनि मेरो आराधना को झुंडले जब मैं परम प्रभु परमेश्वर में भाग बड़ी आत्मा केन्द्रित होते थे फिर मैं धीरे सहायता कर आराधना कर मेरे विषय में के हो जब मैं परम प्रभु को आराधना कर प्रभु को उपस्थिति में होम प्रभु को उपस्थित होने कुछ मैं सब संपत्ति भाग महत्वपूर्ण क्या हो I encourage you to ask God to look into your heart when you worship. अरे वो तो मैं तो ये पूरा साइड कर रहा हूँ कि जब तो मैं आराम ना मांगूँ तो तो पाइंट को रीडेक कर रहा हूँ. Let him show you if there is anything that he needs to fix. अरे ये तो पाइंट को जीवन में क्या पूरा लाए व्यवस्थित कर रहा हूँ अरे परम प्रभु का ईमान का साथ हम लोग देखा हूँ. And do not let anything else in your heart take attention away from God. अरे तो पाइंट को रीडेक मैं इस तरह पूरा मांगूँ I'm extremely proud of all. I'm all to my own today. Do me God will bless you. And God bless you, Pastor Chu. Every time I get to hear her share her heart for worship or youth, ah, so 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 all the ladies, youth, all the boys, ma, all the ladies, we take a bath and share God's love. I'm thankful to God that I've gotten to be a part of her journey. अरे मो परम प्रभु लग जाने बाद इस चीज़ ने मो हाँ को संगीत यात्रा मामा पर ये उड़ा सवाल जाए कुछ ना। There is no joy like watching people you raise up lead others. अरे हम ही ले हम रो अरुण पानी सोल बाई प्रभु को सेवा का एक निम्ति तैयारी करो देवार करो भंडार चुरो आने दो क्या बन जाए? We want to celebrate others. हमी अरु हरु को खुशी मा खुशी मनाऊं सांस हो। When someone on your team does something great, talk about it. पुणे ये तोपाइन को झुंडा होता है, मैंने सोचा हुआ था, झुंडा को बेहतर देने चुला काम कर पुणे चंचल कर रहा हूँ। Don't be afraid to not be the center of your team. आह, अनेक उच्च नियर उच्च बोले कि चार पोस्टर ग्राम इलेवन माला बजाम दिना ये कि बने पुणे इलेवन नॉर्मल राम। Now we do have सभी पूरा को निकली गया था बैलेंस साइंस हो। Where we do want worship to be pleasant. हमी आपने खुशी को लागी जब आराधना कर सकते हैं क्योंकि खुशी आरोप पर सब। So maybe don't put someone in the worship who can't sing. आ कुछ नहीं ले गाओ तो सब में उन्ना बने आराधना को कुछ नहीं जरूर पाए। Or give drum sticks to a drummer who's never drum. आ पहले भी ड्रम ना ना बजाए तो ना ड्रम दिन ना जरूर रिचाई। But we what we do want to do is encourage one another in good works. तो आप हर एक लाइफ असल काम को नीति काम गर्म को नीति उत्साह के ऊपर सब। Remember that God is in charge of promotion. अरे याद करो उस पपाई को सेवकाई लाइस तब उन्नति करने in charge से पपाई के पास होए ना परमिशन होता है ना? Wherever you move in ministry is because of God. जब तो पपाई सेवकाई लोग आएंगे सेवकाई में वृद्धि उन सब जो परम प्रभु अनुग्रह ले हो. God uses your pastors and your leaders. परम प्रभु ले तो पपाई का पास्टर ना अब वो हालात में प्रयोग करने उन सब. But ultimately it's his decision. तरो अंतिम परम प्रभु के निर्णय का आदमी होता है। He's in charge of promotion. अने तपाईं को सेवा खाई, अने तपाईं ले दूसरो लेबल में लाने जे परम प्रभु ने। So we've got to make sure that we're not trying to push ourselves somewhere we're not supposed to be. आ अने कुने मानिस नपुगे को ठाउ में तपाईं ले आफला आफला जबरदस्ती पुराना कोशिश नगर्नो। I remember I did that one time when I was in my early 
I really thought I was going to be a great worshiper. So I begged and begged my pastor to let me be a worshiper. But I hadn't taken the time to grow my gift. So my pastor let me be a worship leader. But I was terrible. I didn't know how to sing. I could hardly play the guitar. But I was trying to pretend like I could. I tried to be in charge of my own promotion. And I was quickly humbled. I was here and God brought me here. Remember that God looks at the heart. I love what Adam shared. That before we worship, we need to look at our own heart. Remember the psalm that says, Search me and know me, God. This should be a worship leader's life verse. That's a great verse. Anytime we're about to step on a platform, God, search me and know me. If there's, if there's anything inside of me that's wrong, lead me to repentance. Lead me to a life that you love to be me in. Thank you. Amen. Amen. So, lowest priority is ourselves. The next priority of worship is one another. The next priority is our leadership. We have to remember that we are servants of our leadership. God has given his church pastors and leaders. And those pastors and leaders equip the saints for the work of the ministry. So what we have to remember is that it's not our vision. God gives churches lead pastors gives them the vision of the house and those pastors distribute the vision to the leaders of the church and our job as the leaders of the church is to serve the vision of our leaders. Remember this. Submission begins where agreement ends. There are some things that I like as a musical style. That my pastor does not like. I like to have some worship moments where it's really quiet and there's just a little bit of piano. But my pastor reminds me that that's not part of the vision of the house when it comes to our service. So I don't argue. I submit. 
It's not my vision. It's the vision that God gave my pastor that I am serving. Now I really love worship. Sunday mornings are some of my favorite times. And if I could, I would just worship the whole time. But that's not the vision of my pastor. So I submit. I think that we should have a different way that we dress sometimes. But my senior pastor doesn't believe that. So I submit. There's songs that my pastors ask us to sing as a worship team. Some songs I don't like. I would much rather not sing them ever. But I submit. My job is not to build the vision of the house. My job is to serve the vision of the house. One thing that we have to be sure of as worship leaders is that we trust the vision of the house. So here at IFGF, it's so important that Brother Razu understands the vision of the house. Because if he doesn't trust the vision, he's going to struggle serving the vision. So here's what we have to believe. God has placed you where you are. He has placed you in the house that you are in. His hand was upon you when he placed you in that house. Until he calls you somewhere else, your job is to serve the vision of that house. Amen. 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 So, we serve ourselves. We, we serve one another. We serve the leadership. And we serve the people. We have to remember why we're on this platform. Why are we, why are we going on stages? Whatever your stage might look like in your church. The front place where you play worship. You've got to remember why you're there. We must remember and understand that it's not because we are better. That is a dangerous mindset that we need to get away from. Whether I'm standing here playing guitar, or I'm down here worshiping, I'm not any better or any worse. I'm the, I'm the same as everybody. God just asked me to be there. But that doesn't make me any better. If I'm in that chair, if I'm in that chair, if I'm in this chair, or if I'm playing that guitar, there's no difference to God. I'm the same. The only difference is that He asked me to serve there sometimes. Hallelujah. Hey. In no way does that make me better. Oh, 
We have to remember we are on this platform to serve the people. Remember that God called you to partner with Him to reach the people in your area. God called you to help reach the broken and the hurting. In my short time in Kathmandu, I see so much brokenness. So much hurting. Story after story of sorrow and hurting. And we are called together to reach these people who are hurt and broken. We're worshiping the God who's above all those things. We're worshiping the God who is infinitely better than anything they have ever served before. And our job on this stage is to exalt his name. And to help people who are walking into this room who have never worshipped him before worship him. I'm reminded of this often at Sun City Church. We have people that come in and experience worship for the first time. And they can't explain what they're feeling. So often they can just tell us what the, what's happening to them. They'll say something like, I don't know why, but I was just crying in church. They ask us if we put something in the coffee. We tell them, no, that's Jesus. Hallelujah. That's the presence of God. And whenever we step on the stage in our church, we need to be reminded of every different person sitting in the seats. There are some people that have known the Lord for a long time sitting in the seats. There are some people that have only known the Lord for a short time in the seats. Most importantly for, for me and for our church, is that we are serving those in the seats that have never known the love of Jesus. And as we lead them in worship, we're giving them a small glimpse of the presence of God. And if we're disconnected from those people, we will serve them in the wrong way. Let us never forget that there are people coming to our services that desperately need him. This week, let's pray for new people in your church who have never confessed Jesus. But when you sing the songs to the Lord, they begin to experience and encounter the love of God. Sometimes in America we forget this. And we only worship to make the Christians happy. 
if we take our eyes off of those who are hurting and broken, that we're missing a major purpose of our church. Let us never forget the evangelistic call on our church. This church, IFGF, church, is called to reach people this week. It's called to reach people this week. Your church, wherever you come from. It's called to reach people in your area. That's why you're there. Consider this. What if the reason your church is where it is? is not just to gather Christians. It is to gather Christians and reach the lost. As worshipers, we have to remember this. We need to sing songs that help people connect to the Lord. We need to worship God in a way that is attractive to people. We need to be ready for that. We've got to make sure that our churches are ready to save the lost. To lead them to Jesus. Sometimes it will happen in the middle of worship. Sometimes worship will stop. Some people will just soften their hearts. And then the word of God will come and speak to them. Remember that these people are coming to your church. So the priority is the people. We are ministers. We serve the people. And the, the obvious final priority is the Lord. We worship the Lord. He is the priority. Worship is for Him. Here's what that looks like practically. We give Him preference in our songs. I talked about this a little bit earlier. But we should pick songs that are to Jesus and not about Jesus. We want to make a genuine attempt to glorify Him and not just sing songs. If we want to just hear songs, we can go to karaoke. Mm. Concerts. Uh, uh, yeah. If we want to just hear songs, we can just go to concerts. Uh, but there's something special about the songs saying to the Lord. We also want to make sure that we give time in our worship to wait on Him. Hamile or Kura, Aramana, Zanipa, Purum, Probula, Parkinicura. 
I, I love worship at your church here. There's many times where the song ends. But the worship continues. We want to make sure that we're not just singing songs, but we are worshiping God. We also need to make sure that as we serve the Lord, that we are living a life of holiness on the stage, stage ma, but more importantly, off the stage. Who you are at home behind closed doors should be the same person that leads people into worship. And if there's a difference in those two people, that's okay. Repent. Ask the Lord to forgive you. If we're trying to be fake when we're here worshiping, we're going to miss an anointing that God has in our worship. My final story is for many years I was a drummer for our worship team. For the first three years, I really loved it. But over time, my heart started to drift away from the church. I was offended with the pastor. I was hurt by people on the team. I was very unhappy. I was being very selfish. So after worship, I would go home and I would complain to my wife. I would say terrible things about the pastor. I would say terrible things about the church. My heart was getting darkened. But I was the only drummer. And I didn't want to leave anyone without a drummer. So I continued to play for many years with a bad heart. I would come for rehearsal and for service. And I would pretend like everything was okay. I would put on a happy face. I would play the drums. I would go home. And I would complain. And I would be offended. And I would, I would say terrible things. And eventually the Lord had to speak to me about this. He told me, Kyle, you are a different man when you play drums than when you go home. That's a problem. And I felt a deep level of conviction. I was serving the Lord because it was the thing to do. My heart was not for the people. My heart was definitely not for the church leaders. My heart was barely for the Lord. And in a moment in my room, I hit my knees, asked the Lord to forgive me. I, I put on a fake face. And when I went to church, I was one person. When I went home, I was a different person. I asked God, let me be one man. Who serves you. In joy. In faith. In good heartedness. And the Lord forgave me. 
He let me continue to serve. And all of a sudden, the joy came back into my life. Like I had not experienced in a very long time. If we serve the Lord without loving Him and His people, we're just hurting ourselves. This is called deception. We think things are one way, but they're actually a completely different way. I want to encourage you today to continue to be one person before the Lord. Do not be one person when you go to church and a different person when you come home. Serve the Lord out of a healthy heart. And remember you are called to be a minister. You are called to be a servant. You are called to lead in your house. You are called to build one another. To serve your leadership. Remember to serve the people. Amen. Amen.